I pray that you had an absolutely wonderful Christmas with your family. I want to show you the funniest gift that I received. This is from my 10-year-old granddaughter, Savannah. She gave me a vacuum cleaner to vacuum out the earwax that I have in my ears. Uh, I'll tell you, I just about lost it. It's like putting a hoover to your head. I'll tell you, those type memories make the Christmas season. I pray that today and for the next year that you have happiness and that you find that happiness through holiness. In Psalms 84, verse 4 and 5, it says, Happy are the people who live at your temple. Happy are those whose strength comes from you. Do you seek happiness? I would imagine you do or you wouldn't be watching this. Do you seek abundance? Do you seek contentment? Well, these are the things that we all are praying for in 2014. If so, here are some things that you should do. First, love God. Depend on God for strength and try to the best of your ability to follow God's will and strive to obey God's commandments. And when you do these things, you're going to discover that happiness goes hand in hand with holiness. The happiest people on earth are not those who struggle against God's will, insisting on their own way. No, the happiest people of all are the people who walk with God and trust in God's guidance. True happiness is always available, and you need not wait until tomorrow or 2014 for it to be claimed today. Focus less on your obstacles and more on God's gifts, and strive as best you can to be a, a genuine, holy person and leave the rest up to God. And then prepare yourself for the blessings and the joys that are sure to follow. To be in a state of true grace is to be miserable no more. It is to be happy forever. A soul in this state is a soul near and dear to God, a soul housed in God. I pray for your happiness. I pray for your holiness this day and every day moving forward in 2014. Have a marvelous day. God bless you.